All right, so we're back with a new series that I'm calling Bug Fixes. And the bug that we're going to fix today is a really common one in React. And the question you would ask if you had this particular bug is, why is my child component not updating when a certain prop that it has changes? So like I said, this is a common bug in React and it comes down to a little bit of a misunderstanding of how the component lifecycle works and how the lifecycle methods work. So let's get into that. The way that receiving prop changes works differs a little bit between class components and functional components, but let's talk about class components first and kind of the way that things used to be done. So basically in a class component, the only kind of side effect that triggers a re-render in the component are changes to state, not changes to props. And so in a class component, because that's the case, in order to trigger a re-render on prop changes, you need to use the lifecycle method component did update. And with component did update, you get the previous props in the previous state as arguments. And so when you use component did update, you're able to write a comparison of what the props used to be and what they are now. And you can do that comparison. And if they're different, then you can trigger whatever changes that you need to re-render. That's how things are done in a class component with component did update. And even the React documentation says that forgetting to handle component did update properly is a common source of bugs. Like I said, that's how that bug is solved in class components. And it's not so common to use class components anymore, but you may come across them if you're dealing with some legacy code or an older app. So it's good to know how to handle it in that case. Okay, so let's talk about functional components and how you would solve this. For example, in a brand new React app, I assume you're going to be using functional components and in functional components, you have the use effect hook. The use effect hook takes the place of three lifecycle methods that you would have used if you're writing class components. And that is component did mount, component did update, and component will unmount. So previously with that class component example, we were writing code specifically to handle updates, but that's not necessary in a functional component because use effect handles all the updates by default. The fact that use effect handles all updates by default means that you avoid that bug that is so common in class components with component did update but it means you may have lagging performance because the component is just re-rendering all the time whenever there's an update to be made. And if that's the case, then you may need to optimize performance by skipping some effects. But the question is, how do you do that? And the way that you tell React to skip applying an effect with use effect is to put that value in the dependency array. So we'll use the example from the React documentation just for the sake of our purposes. So we have this value count, and the way that the dependency array works under the hood is that it does this check and it says, hey, did count change? And if count hasn't changed, then we don't apply the effect because it's not necessary. And by only applying the effects when it's necessary, you optimize your performance because you're not rendering the component unnecessarily. So the point is, if you want to avoid that pesky bug, then use a functional component. And if you want to avoid unnecessary re-renders, then pass your values in that optional second argument, the dependency array, and that way React will avoid unnecessary re-renders and will only reapply the effect if the value has changed. So that's it for this first episode of Bug Fixes. If you're still here, you'd probably like the rest of my channel, which focuses on software engineering and self-employment. So consider subscribing. Regardless, thanks so much for watching to the end. Remember, stay hungry, stay curious, and I'll see you in the next one.